your live streaming? We're li we're live. <laughs> well, not sort really of, live. not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're live right now, but anyway. Wow, this looks like gold. <laughs> what you got there? I have duck breast. Ooh. Duck breast from uh, Lakeland Meats in Saint Catharines, and uh, is peppered on the outside with uh, fresh thyme, and we're going to make that. And uh, they're just absolutely delicious. Maybe a little overcooked. We'll chat about that. But anyway, <laughs> but hopefully you can hear me because uh, that's why we're a little late. And those might be a little bit farther along waiting for some mic issues. Hey, everyone. It's sizzling with sass. <laughs> and I am, as this is going, I'm going to be playing ski bunny going down the slopes. I hope I fit into my <laughs> ski suit. A little too much sizzling with sass lately, so <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, I love duck, every single part of it. I love duck and red wine, whether it's Pinot Noir or Gamay Noir, but we're going to go a little heavier on the red this time because we're going to pair it up with a red wine sauce, which is just coming up to a simmer right there, and um, we throw that over there. So, you know, it's one of the meats that is just like, just under loved, because I think people are afraid of duck, and... Right. It's so easy to make. Yeah, be like, yeah, people are, are scared of it. And um, so anyway, I am going to be, uh, I'm just scoring it. Just I've got a super sharp knife here. Just going into the meat like so. I'm going to turn and do it on the other angle. If you're Burgundian, this is how you do it here. You can find another sizzling with sass about what that means. <laughs> if you're Bordelais, you would make it a diamond pattern with the, uh, <laughs> with the uh, and uh, since I am preparing this with a Cabernet, well, the Gritstone Cabernet, which is 100% Cabernet Franc, which is more of a Bordeaux varietal than a Burgundy varietal. Um, hence, I, had, I need to I need to keep it all the, the, the same. How do you say uh, all the comme ça, all the uh, similar? I don't know. Or <laughs> so wait, don't. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> so Remember, you had extra tutoring in Italian. I did, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I took the bare minimum in French to start off with, and then... Uh, went back for more, so. Uh, All right, so what have you got there? Okay, so in here was about a teaspoon, or no, that's right, half a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, and then half a teaspoon of uh, fresh cracked salt with uh, some fresh um, uh, thyme that I uh, just, um, let me make sure I get it all, well, so it's okay. Don't be, the, don't be, you know, that person. Um, anyway, uh, some fresh thyme. So I just wanna make sure I got it all over the duck. And uh, and onto only the um, only onto the fat side, so. So salt, pepper, and thyme. And yep, that's all that's there. Yeah. Fresh thyme. So you can let that sit for a little bit, let it marinate a little bit. But here's the weird part about duck. So watch this. Wait a minute. <laughs> ah! No, this pan is cold. So because we want to start off with a cold pan, um, typically do it in a stainless steel one. But I don't have. Uh, I only have one of those. So start off in a cold pan, and because this is so hot, this because I'm on propane here, um, I'm going to keep it on low, and that's all I'm going to do. And that, what that's going to do, that slow start to the heat will help um, render out that fat. There's so much duck fat on the breast of yeah. duck. And starting slow is like cooking bacon and starting with a slow pan. That right. way you get more fat out of it, and it gets crispier. Yeah. Crispy. Yes. Who doesn't like crispy bacon? Right. I, I, nobody I know. No. Nobody I want to know. Nobody wants their fat flabby. <laughs> no. Oh, that's what we should do with What's our that? COVID pants. We should just crisp up. We should crisp up. Just start <laughs> on slow heat and then just, um, which probably because, you know, we want to be equal to all sides. Let's, let's just put some salt and pepper on the side too, just for equal opportunity. Love, but it just doesn't get the, uh, the time. So let me just kind of get a little pat in there. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to leave it on this for about, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it because, um, this guy, it was about, on this pan, it was about seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes before I flipped it. Yeah. And then, um, and then because these ones are so thick, uh, then I put it in, as soon as I flipped it, I put it right into the oven at 400 degrees for another 10 to 15 minutes, just so it could get from all sides the, the heat. Right. If they're thinner, because sometimes it's lucky to get ones this thick. These are, these are Muscovy duck? Yeah, Wait a minute. Was Muscovy ducks? Wait a minute. Hold it. Well, I don't know, but I'm sure. I'm pretty sure they're Muscovy ducks uh, from uh, Lake Lake Meats. They're just so much thicker and so much uh, ardent. At uh, Lake Lake Meats is like cringing right now. Like, so we even talked about the duck for crying. Like, I'm positive Muscovy duck. So, and so they're thick. So they need a little more time. If they're cheesier and thinner and lighter, um, then you don't have to pan sear it. Once you get your crispy side, yeah. it's crispy. Flip it. Another like five to seven minutes, and maybe you know. 
turning it a little bit so you get the sear on all sides yeah. and then letting it rest five minutes after that and you're cooking with gas. Yeah. You do want it rare, medium rare, pink in the middle. Right. So we'll see, or we'll let that rest. That just came out of the oven when we started. Yeah. We'll see what that looks like in a few minutes, so. And um, so this is definitely a dish though where you want to have your um, fan on because it's Oh yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. it smells great in here, but. It smells killer. <laughs> it's just absolutely killer. Okay, so then every good meat needs a good sauce. And, um, and so likewise, like, you know, I, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm just putting some thoughts together on things um, because uh, my fiance and I made some, what did we make? We made a bison um, uh, brisket and it was so bison-y, <laughs> it was so gamey yeah. and it was so delicious, but because it was so gamey, we're like, what do we need with this? And so we, I went to the fridge and it was a blueberry ice wine jelly that I happened to have in the fridge that kind of brought the whole thing together. So, oh, we may have a customer, how exciting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, so, oh yep, they're stopping. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be able to pause and yes. then carry on? Yeah, we can Okay, all right. Okay, we'll pause and then we'll carry on. All right. Boop. Okay. Okay, wow. we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wasn't a customer. It was my nephew, Connor. <laughs> We're, we borrow a cup of sugar, which is kind of funny because as those that have been here many times would know, ooh, I've said, you know, come on back and borrow a cup of sugar or a needle and thread or whatever you need. So literally we've gone three minutes. This is still rendering down. Look how nicely that, that, that duck fat is wow. coming out of there. And yeah, so it's going low and slow. Take your time. No rush there. That duck fat is absolute gold. Yeah. Um, let's go right into the... Potatoes uh, uh, done in duck fat. Potatoes so and duck fat. Oh, the best. The best. Okay, so over here in the sauce... Um, I started off with, uh, we'll post this online too. Uh, this started off with, let's say, a one, f I made a double batch here. So I use a, I'll give the recipe for half a batch. So I used half a shallot, finely chopped. Um, I had that in like one pat of butter with um, salt and pepper. Yeah. And uh, maybe about a teaspoon of fresh thyme, finely chopped. And so that was in there. And then uh, once that, that the shallots were soft, about three or four minutes, then um, I added in dried cranberries and got them plump, so like a minute or two. And then I added, and then, and then, and then, and then I added about a half a cup of uh, the grit stone and let that all kind of simmer together for about, uh, mm, just about two or three minutes and then half a cup of chicken stock. Nice. So anyway, so that all kind of like simmered together for about 10 minutes. And then I, um, and then I strained it. Yeah. So that's what's here now. I brought that back up to a, a warm simmer. It's like simmer on the verge of boiling. I have some um, some unsweetened butter or unsalted butter here. Unsweetened butter. That's funny. <laughs> unsalted butter. And uh, so now I'm just going to uh, like this is the way to do this is uh, that really super cold butter and you don't stir it. You put it in, in those little blocks and you just keep swirling it around and swirling it around. It's just a, on the verge of being too hot. I have the, the heat off of it now and um, it's going to make it shiny and glossy. It could look kind of muddy before, mm -hmm. um, but then now with that, that unsalted butter in there, it's getting shiny and glossy and looking pretty darn good. So, uh, uh, excuse me, you have nothing to tell us. No, you don't. I know you're liking duck too, eh? <laughs> okay, funny. All right, so um, that's just about ready to go into the oven. Yeah. Um, I'm just for the power of television, I'm going to turn that off. I think we're about ready to plate this because the butter is just about melted there. Whee! Just finish it off. Okay, cool. I'm gonna switch sides. Okay, switch sides. Come on over to this side. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna flip my cutting board over because I had the raw duck on that side. So let's put the cooked duck on this side. And on that note too, let's get a clean knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Funny safety third. <laughs> <laughs> so this might be maybe a little bit overkill. Let's see if we nailed this or not. Um, so you want to cut it diagonally. Yep. And if you can get a little, I'm really bad at getting the angle to it, but let's just see what happens here. This might have been just a little bit overdone. Hmm, well, there's a little teeny bit of pink there. Not as much as I'd like, but those yeah. juices are running clear. So we know we've nailed it. So put this on top of a salad or with uh, some potatoes, uh, some rice would be great. Uh, see, if I, was, if I was better with a knife, it would say I'm getting too many stair, uh, steps with this. Sorry that about the puppy is uh, she's letting the knife do the work. That was a little bit better there. All right. And sorry. Oh, see now as we get to the thicker part of the duck, we're getting a little bit pinkier here. Yeah. So we're not bad. Okay, so let's take go like these. And because I've got that nice crispy skin, 
And that puppy is being very bad. My apologies. It must be hikers going down the road. We'll just serve that in. Let's put a little bit of this down on the plate. Whee! And let's put a little bit of the... Uh, whoop! Come sa. And a little bit of the pepper. Whee! Because it is black pepper. <laughs> and because we all love salt. Whee! And let's pour ourselves a glass of wine too. This is the 2019 grit stone. So maybe wine that might be a little bit too powerful for duck, but because we've made the sauce with the red wine, yeah. um, and because we use a Bordeaux, I'm thinking it's the right way to go. So, and because um, really it is Gamay or Pinot Noir that are more classic with duck, but uh, oh my gosh, it does look delicious. It it's, smells so good in here. <laughs> it smells so delicious, like, doesn't it? smell a vision to add to this film? Okay, now hold it. I'm so, I'm so, Keen to taste it. You always, always, always taste the wine before you have the food, yes. right? So, who that was close. So, right, 2019 Gritstone, and 2019 was a really elegant vintage. Like, it wasn't the hottest on record, but it certainly was the, um, it was warm enough. Uh, we had quite a bit of precipitation that came with it, too. So, um, so if you're looking for reds for aging, I'd be looking for, like, the 2018s and 2020s, but 19 is just so, so beautiful and elegant. Yeah. And I'm really proud of the color and the fruitiness that we achieved from this, from that, that vintage. So on the nose, oh my gosh, so delicious. Um, and it really links up nicely with the aromas I've been smelling here too. So, mm. so a little bit of gaminess, a little bit of meatiness, but there's also like just so much red cherry note to it. Um, that you, the oak comes through, the 14 months of French and American oak aging is beautiful. Oops. <laughs> a little exuberant. <laughs> what a rookie mistake. How did that happen? I blame the dog. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so you have that really cherry berry note too, which is going to link up nicely with the sauce here. So you know, the, the meats actually absorb the sauce. So, huh? Um, uh, palate. Mm. Mm. Ironic. The first flavor I'm getting today. And every day we taste a little bit different than the, the day before. Um, and blame it on the moon or the stars or the sun or whatever. Um, and maybe it's a little bit later in the day too, based on what, what I've eaten already today. Yeah. But I really get a a black pepper note today on the wine that I haven't had that intense before, but it certainly is the red berry and cherry notes that come through first. Um, and it almost like, like a cooked cherry type thing too, a little bit. And then uh, that tar and tobacco notes come through and, and the black pepper. So, all right, let's go into some uh, duck duck. Mmm, yum. <laughs> okay. It's so beautiful when you get the contrast of the earthy duck and and the because hmm, duck has its own aroma and, and flavor yeah. in a sense right and um so it's like it's like dark chicken meat but then like go a little deeper denser with it right yeah. so but it doesn't go into the gamey note so somewhere in the middle there yeah. and then put that contrast that with the berry characteristics and then the spice contrast from the the black pepper pretty darn cool mm. mm -hmm. Do you find the wine is softer in your mouth after having a, a bite of the duck? Well, it's funny because you can see how the, the tan is the wine just really cancel off the fats. Yeah. And there's a lot of protein in duck breast too. Yeah. And so it all just, like the palate is like, like clean. Like clean. It's, yeah. like, it's like lemon fresh clean. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going for the duck here. Fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let me try again. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Fine. Mm -mm. Mm. And that's the side without the time on it too. It's definitely some of those flavors that come through and the flavors, probably from flipping it over, the time would be in those oils and as it was yeah. in the oven, you know, soak that up. And so some of that herbal note you get from that links in with the herbal note in the Cabernet Franc. But this is like, what I love about Cabernet Franc and what I really strive to do is to minimize those herbal notes that yeah. can sometimes destroy a Cabernet Franc where it gets like weedy and grassy and dandelion-like. I try to keep it on the, on the mint and side and keep yeah. it a little more underlying in the uh, in the wine so it's not a dominant part of it so and for a cool vintage uh cooler vintage it's uh nice that it's it is so so subdued in the wine yeah subdued i haven't <laughs> used that wine in a word in a while <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that sauce is just perfect with this too sauce. bring those berry notes the the sauce oh, the, the sauce, sauce. Okay. yeah and so cool give it a try the, the um, recipe is online. The wine is absolutely online. <laughs> it's um, $34.95 a bottle and is um, available right now. Drinking great now. 
And those tannins are, they're so approachable, but they're still gripping enough and, uh, and abrasive enough that we know that it will age for at least five to seven years, no problem at all. And I always underestimate, underestimate the ageability of my wine, so. Um, right, and happy Valentine's to those. I guess that's coming up soon, so be sure to uh, hop online and get some wine for your loved one. So we have this uh, lovely pack that's going out, five bottles and uh, three red uh, pink roses to go with it. Um, all the wines are from the Fancy Farm Girl series. And what's the price on that car again? Is one nineteen ninety five? One nineteen ninety five. Like I mean, and you know, and actually, it's priceless. <laughs> and we'll even deliver it to you or your loved one or your or your mom or your grandma or your favorite teacher or whoever you think needs it uh, on uh, Friday, Saturday, Febru Saturday, February twelfth. To be like a week a week today. Yeah. Today's Friday when I'm pouring through this, but this will be on Saturday when you see this. <laughs> I, I'm, I get caught in the weeds sometimes. <laughs> so anyway, be well, stay safe, everyone. Stop in for a tasting sometime. Come say hi. Give the dog a cuddle. Robisia. Bye. <laughs>